Hello and welcome to Kids Coding Playground channel. He will be teaching kids step by step learning the basic programming concept. Uh, one of my favorite tools to use is Scratch. Scratch is a visual uh, interactive programming uh, uh, language tool developed by MIT where kids can program their own interactive story, games, and animation. So it is a really uh, fun and easy tool to use. Um, let's get started. Now we'll go to um, here. So we need to go to uh, scratch.mit.edu. So in here, you can, uh, you can sign up for your own uh, account. Okay, after you sign up, then you can see your stuff. Uh, what are some of the things that you could, uh, uh, you have your project kind of here. And then you can um, also, if you don't like the online version, uh, you can also go here, go down here into the uh, download. So in this download, uh, you can download the offline version of Scratch, meaning uh, you can actually run it anywhere. But um, I do recommend the online version so that um, if you have online access, then you can pretty much use it uh, anytime. Uh, the offline versions, uh, you know, you have to save it locally on your file and then you have to like uh, load it up. Uh, but it allows you to work online without internet access. But the online version, everything is saved into your into your project. So let me get started. So now that you have a little bit basic of uh, about uh, Scratch, where to uh, go and how to download the Scratch and how to uh, log in and use it. So once you log in, uh, you'll see uh, you can go to uh, my stuff, click on this, and it'll show like uh, different stuff. What are some of the project you have? for uh, Scratch. So on, you can also create your new uh, project. So uh, we can do that uh, by clicking on this button here, create new project. So when you create this new project, it will load into this uh, editor. So this is the editor for uh, uh, Scratch. So let me uh, show you one of the slides I made um, about uh, the Scratch. So here, the uh, Scratch editor, this is a 3.0. Scratch recently updated to 3.0. Uh, so this is a menu. So this is the menu bar you have here. This is the stop and start. Uh, this is the button to run your game. This is the script area where you put your code here, those blocks. This is the code palette. So you can drag and drag the code and drop it into the script area. And these are the extension. Extension is like other stuff like music, um, pen you know or other thing that you want to use with scratch and this is the background editor you can put a background for your game this is the uh, sprite editor where you can edit uh, putting different sprite like the cat here for example uh, you can have a dog or something else and this is the stage meaning like what you're going to see so when your game runs so uh, this is the basic of uh, the layout for the scratch Next, we want to understand about the X and Y position of the, of the scratch. So in the center of scratch will be 0, 0. Uh, this side will be positive X, right? This side will be negative X, and this side is positive Y. This down here is negative Y. So as you can see, this quadrant here is positive X and positive Y. Here is positive X, negative Y. Here is a negative X, negative Y and here's negative x positive y. So you have to kind of understand the position. So 0, 0 is kind of in the center of the, uh, the stage. OK, so next, we're going to go step by step uh, teaching the kids how to uh, code the first uh, scratch game. OK, here we go. So this is the sample lesson we're going to work on today. So we're going to have the cat in the background with the music, and the cat will be dancing, OK? So let's, uh, let's start with the uh, program. So first, we have the cat, right? So what we can do is we can click on this button here uh, and go into here. Say so select a background, and then you can type maybe um, dance, let's say. Yeah, see, dance. So you have this spotlight, select this. So now you have the cat. Uh, have a background of the dance stage. We're going to move the cat kind of in the middle of that stage here. So after that, uh, what we can do is we can uh, do some coding uh, to make this cat move. So 
first thing we can do is uh, you can see this here. These are the, the, the different code uh, block they have. So we can start with the first one, uh, event. So when the button is clicked, what do you want the cat to do? So the cat uh, is not doing anything right now. Let's say we want to make the cat move. So we're going to have to take a look at this costume. So as you can see, the first costume is the cat kind of standing here. Second costume is the cat kind of like moving his leg. So you can what you can do is you can put a loop. We'll go into more detail on this uh, later on. But for right now, uh, just follow along. So you can see here control. We can drag this uh, for loop into the uh, into this block here. So it was kind of like a Lego kind of thing. You slap, snatch it in. Uh, so and then you can say go back to um, here look and look you can say next costume so what you do is uh, when you click on this you will see the cat continuously forever changing the costume so I can click on this once so you can see it kind of going really fast right that's what we're not, not what we want right we can stop it so what we can do is you can put a little bit of weight okay in the control I believe yeah Let's see, yeah, mm -hmm. here. So you can drag weight over here. Uh, you can do like 0 0.1 second. So uh, this is like a fraction of a second, right? So let's say if you go start again, so you see how you click on this green flag go, that means it will execute this block of code here. So let me kind of zoom in so you can see better. I should do that earlier. Uh, so now let's, let's click on this go. So as you can see, you can see the cat is kind of running or dancing or what it's doing. And you can see that this block of code has become yellow, meaning this is running. So you can stop this. Now we have the cat moving kind of thing. So now let's say we want to add some music to the cat, right? So what we can do, uh, we can go in here. And then we can, this is the extension, we can add music extension. So once you add the extension of music, you see something like this. So what we can do is we can go back to the event. We're going to drag another uh, start when start is click. And then we are going back to the control. We get another uh, forever loop here. And then what we can do is we're going to make the cat kind of moving uh, forward a little bit, moving back a little bit. So this is a movement. So you have to go to motion. So you can say uh, move forward 10 step. And what we can do is go back to the music. We can say, hey, play this drum sound, right? For uh, 0 0.052 second for the beat. And then play and then make the movement again. And then we can use like uh, moving back, right? Put back here. And then you send for negative 10. So here, so you can have like uh, the drum playing is moving forward. I'm moving backward and then we can use another music like let's say you can put another sound here and you can choose a different sound maybe you can choose this one right and then you can also make it move forward again or you can just duplicate the code you can right click say duplicate so now you have a second set of codes so you can see uh, it's playing some sound uh, we can move backward and forward again and then maybe we can delete this part. We don't need to drag it back in here. We'll delete that. This one, we can just select another one here. So what happened if I run this code now, you'll see that the cat will continue moving, uh, dancing, right? moving uh, forward and backward. And then we're changing the costume and playing this sound. So let me run this real quick. We'll save our project. We'll run. So you can see the cat is kind of dancing like this. Forward and back, forward and back, right? So as you can see, this is a really simple project we created. So where you can make the uh, cat dancing, right? So next we can do is uh, we can also make the cat maybe changing color. So there's another event you can use, right? Different event. Let's go back to the event. So when space key is pressed. So what we want to do is when the space key is pressed, we want to change the color effect. So we're going to go back to look. Uh, you can see that here, change color effect by 25. So what happened is it's going to make the, uh, the, 
the cat change the color. And also you can make the cat say something if you like. And you can say uh, hello, right? And we can say hello for maybe one second, right? So what you do is when the game is running, you can push the space key and it will change this color. So you can see, like, if I press the space key, you see hello, you see the cat is changing color here, right? So, so you can see that the cat is dancing, the, um, the music is playing in the background, and then you can push the space key, it will change the color of the cat. So, and also you can also like, uh, you know, uh, let's say if I want to reset the game every time, so let's say I drag the cat over here. So let's say uh, what I can do is I drag this here. So every time uh, the game start, we'll move the cat to this position. Let's say if the cat somehow playing, you doing some other game, the cat moved to a certain position. But when I click on this start button, it'll always put the cat back to this stage here. So if I click on this, you can see the cat coming back to the stage, right? So this is how you kind of reset your, your character, your sprite in the game. Uh, next thing we can do is, um, I think we'll, we'll stop here for now. Uh, so this is kind of the basic of the uh, game. Uh, so next we're going to go introduction, uh, introduce uh, how to add a different sprite into the game, maybe making adding the dog or adding the uh, bats that flies around. So, okay, we're going to try that next, uh, next uh, lesson. Thank you. So if you like uh, what I'm doing here, uh, please uh, leave a like, uh, thumbs up, uh, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.